Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream. Today's video is going to be, oh, it may be a long one, this one, because I've got so much to say. I've been sort of planning this for a, for a year or so, and here we are. So I'm going to tell you everything about making money online, how easy it is, or not easy, as the case may be. So I'm going to go through everything that I do here, type of thing, and I'm going to tell you the things that all of these gurus on YouTube will tell you that you can make 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars per month. It's a load of BS, I've got to say, because I've been doing this for a year now and I'm going to show you the results of what I can do and what I have been doing. And I want you to have a look and you'll see what I've done, the quality of the work that I've done and judge yourself whether it's saleable or whether it isn't. Excuse me, I'm going to drink a lot of water today because I've got a lot of things to say. So everybody who watches my channel knows me for retired and living the dream. But many, many people have asked about how you can make some money in Thailand. So I sort of did this video a year ago and here we go. I'm going to show you exactly what I use to do in my YouTube channel. Now I'm not a big YouTube channel. There's many, many other channels that have popped up and made a lot more money than what I do. And I make about $100, $130. This month's, well, last month's November's money was $130. So not a lot for what you have to pay out. And I'm going to go through what you have to pay out a little bit later on in the video. So what do I use? I use a iPhone 11 as my main camera. And I use this DJI action camera for my second camera for doing. Now, I do everything by these. And at the end of the day, by doing everything with these, it's simple, it's in your pocket all of the time, and it's not expensive. Okay, so this is my video setup for when I do my YouTube videos, when I, when I do my head talking outside. So it's an iPhone 11 with a Rode microphone, which is connected so it, you get a better sound quality from that. A fairly cheap tripod, and what I've done I've used my iPad as a monitor. So as you can see, there I am taking a picture of me, talking about me. So with this, you've got to have the app for the iPad and also the iPhone. So it lets it talk to each other. So now when I sit down on here and I have a look at the, the camera on there, as you can see, I've got some headroom and it, it shows you the picture, picture quality and whether you're sat in the light. And that's when I'm sat talking to the camera. When I very first started YouTube, I was like caught up with many of the others people. You've got to have this, you've got to have that, you've got to have the other. And I've got loads of stuff in the drawer now that I've never used for many, many, many years. Because all the people, that sell you the stuff on YouTube, there's a catch to it because they want you to buy it so they can make the commission. And we're going to come on to that a little bit later on with regard to, to what you need to look out for. Again, I'm going to tell you the things that nobody else tells you on YouTube. Nobody, I've watched many, many, many videos and I'm going to tell you the things that nobody tells you. So keep watching and hopefully you'll gain some knowledge from all of this lot. And it's not rocket science, it really, really isn't. But you're going to be the judge. I'm going to let you leave the comments on this video to tell me what you think, um, good, bad, indifferent, or whatever, and what I've been trying to do. And if there's anybody out there pointing a the finger and say, Les, this is where you're going wrong, you need to do this, please leave a comment also, because I've had nobody to lead me by the hand to say, Les, do this, do this, do the other. Because at the end of the day, nobody wants to tell you how to make lots and lots of money because if they're going to tell you how to make lots and lots of money it's going to affect them and the only way they're telling you how to make lots and lots of money is for you to watch them making lots and lots of money and in reality they don't tell you anything so here we go my main channel is is retired and living the dream and i've been doing this now for nearly four years so four years and eight thousand subscribers it isn't very big there's a couple of guys that i follow on youtube uh, ben living in thailand uh, nice guy but he's got over 10,000 uh, subscribers in in little over 18 months good luck on on the guy he, he he does a very entertaining channel and long may it last but i don't know i'm an information channel i talk about visas medical 
insurance and living here in Thailand and I do practical things because I'm a bit of a DIYer. But sadly, mine's still only eight, eight and a half, well, nearly 9,000 uh, subscribers now. So I'm not a very successful YouTuber in some people's eyes, but I do it to keep me occupied and a bit of fun. But because of other people have been asking me how to make money online, I set a task for myself to earn some money online. And it's been going for about a year or so now, and this is the time I'm going to do the video. And I've got some examples to show you. And what it is, is um, the first thing I started, everybody, these are the things that you will always see on YouTube. Um, start an Etsy shop, start a, a faceless YouTube channel, because lots of people don't like appearing in camera. I was a bit nervous and shy when I very first started it. Uh, but now I, so I'm used to it. I'm used to people, when I'm walking around with me selfie stick video, people look and stare at you. Now a lot of people don't like that. So now there's a massive thing on, on YouTube, like in 5,000, 20,000, 30,000, six figure numbers on faceless YouTube channels. <laughs> well again, I've started a faceless YouTube channel and I want people to I'm going to put a link here on what to go and I want you to go and have a look and see what you think. Now this faceless YouTube channel has actually only been going for um, well less than a month really and how many views have I got? Oh, not many at all. So, but the quality of the videos that I've done I, I think are quite good and again I want you to leave your comments on the videos that I've done and this is going to be the link to the um, faceless YouTube channel that I do with regard to scary stories niche and um, if you're gonna pick a niche and work on some YouTube footage or if you want to start a YouTube channel up look at a niche now my niche for retired and living the dream is such a small it's Thailand retired and living in Thailand now that's such a small niche in comparison to scary stories and the fitness regime and the, the cooking regime where there's millions and millions and millions of views so looking at all the gurus and telling you what to do i think oh, okay i'll give this a go so i'm in the early stages of doing this and what they, they recommend you do on some of the guru channels is outsource the work so because this video that I'm going to put up here, and I want you to, to click onto this video and have a look at it. It's only about four or five minutes long, but that will lead you to my channel, and then you can look at, I've got 21 videos all together. And uh, if you want to have a look at all 21 videos, thank you very much and see what the quality is like. So now this video here took me two hours, well over two hours, about two and a half hours to make. and. They, they say you can make these in, in seconds or minutes type of thing. Now, I've used all the programs that they say in video. I've used in video and they said you just put your, your text to speech so you can just give it a prompt, it will write the, the script, it will find all the photographs and it will put all the videos together. It does. But it's a crappy, crappy, and I've got to say crappy video because all, all the pictures sometimes don't correlate with the story. Now, when I make it for two and a half hours, I've been doing YouTube now for quite a while, so I've got the canvas, I've got the film auras, I've got the um, soundtracks and things like that, so I can use all of them, lot. so I'm a little bit more clued up. Now, for somebody who wants to start this up themselves and do it, it just, it isn't how they say it is on the YouTube, where you can make thousands and thousands of dollars per month. It's crap, it really is. So... Let's just go on to cost. With cost to actually start in this, this program, if you want to do a faceless YouTube channel, now there are many, many channels out there that are making a lot, a lot of money, but don't think you can do it in a month or two months, or even, it might take you a year or so before you grow. Some channels just rock it, and I don't know how they do it, because I've looked at all the things. I've even paid for various services to find out how you can do it. In reality, buying all of them services, that makes them money. It doesn't make you money because they're only telling you the same things that you can find out on YouTube anyway for free. So let me give you some costs with regard to making this one video here, the Ouija board. Now we all know about the Ouija boards, don't we? So I've made a story up about the Ouija board. 
So you need your computer, everybody, you need a computer to be able to do this, but that's not a real cost, because if you've got a computer, you've got a computer. So I use Canva for doing my stories. There's a program called Canva. Now Canva is absolutely brilliant. It really, really is. Now I get no kickbacks from recommending Canvas or all the other things I'm going to do. I'm doing it because I'm just trying to help people out, those people who want to try and do this type of thing, um, Facebook, YouTube channels. So Canva, it works out about £15 a month, but Canva's great. You can do videos, you can do thumbnails. Um, I've made some money off making menus and things like that. I've made Christmas cards, birthday cards, cards for um, firefighters and things like that. Now I'll go on to that because that's my second thing that I've done, opened an Etsy store, but we'll carry on with the YouTube channel because this is where I've started. So Canva, 15 quid a month. I, th I do believe you can buy a, a yearly subscription. Now I've had Canva now for maybe two or three years. So I got in early and I've got a yearly subscription and that cost me uh, about £40 a year. It's not a lot of money to pay for something. The, the stuff that it gives you is fantastic. So Canva. Uh, I've just in the process of Artlist. Now Artlist is, is a um, sound, so you can buy all sound bites for all sorts of things. Now this is what I need to be able to put the, the soundtracks to scary movies or scary videos or horror videos and things like that. You need some sound effects for sure. Although there are various sites that you can buy it, they're not like art. Artist is fantastic. Same as Epidemic Sounds and that, their quality, quality products. Quality music for, scary, for like drone music, scary music in the background. And that works out about $16 a month. Now again, you can buy a lifetime plan or you can buy a, um, a yearly plan or you can buy the monthly plan. I've gone for the monthly plan because um, I'm, I'm just trying it out and seeing if it works. So rather than pay, I think, nearly $500 for the year, I'm paying $16 and I'm going at it like crazy because it makes it takes me two and a half, sometimes three hours to make one of these videos. And then you need an editing software. Now editing software, again, I, I've got Filmora. Uh, there is DaVinci Resolve and there's Premiere Pro, uh, Premiere, Premiere something it is, Premiere Pro, I think it is, but that's for more like the Apple Mac and things like that. But again, Filmora, I've had Filmora for three years, so I got in there early, so I bought it, uh, a lifetime plan. It's $80, $80 a year, $80 a year now they charge for Filmora. But DaVinci Resolve, uh, again, I've been told it, it's free, but again, it's like with anything for free, you don't get the bells and whistles. So if you're going to go into this in a big way, play around at first and then make your mind up and sometimes you have to spend a bit of cash, but free isn't always the best. So that's Filmora for the editing, Artlist for the sound effects and the background music and the Artlist do all sorts of things, so that's brilliant. And Canva, Canva is is good for many many things and i'll come on to that one with with me etsy store as well because i use canva an awful lot for them um so that's it about about cost it's actually not too bad is it but you need some return don't you you need some return on your investments and what i'm looking at i've, I've done 21 videos but it takes two and a half hours for two two and a half hours for one video so that takes a good part of a day to make three videos. And um, I'm retired now. I don't really particularly want to be able to spend up to eight hours or so a day. So what other things have I done? Well, I've actually done, done these. Everybody sees these, retirement and living the dream. Starts off with a mug like that and ends up with a mug like that. Now I've tried them. But again, living in Thailand, to do this is very, very cheap, it's not expensive. But what lets you down is postage again, is that I took it, there was two people who bought one from America, I was gonna post them to America, and the Thai post office won't post to outside of Thailand because they said anything to do with ceramics or glass, they won't post in case of breakage. 
so I can post it anywhere, in, I can post one of them anywhere in Thailand for less than 100 baht. But trying to post it outside of Thailand, no, it isn't going to happen. And I, I checked in DHL and things like that, but oh, the, <laughs> the, pros is, the, pros, the cost is prohibitively expensive. Now, I also did the t-shirts, retired and living the dream t-shirts. And um, again, the t-shirt is cheap. I can get it printed cheap. I was even going to buy the printer um, or the, the press. Re reasonably priced cheap, but the postage to post anyway is so ridiculously expensive. So them ideas have all gone. So what else have I been doing? The Etsy store, the Etsy store, it's your life. Dot Etsy. I'll put the link up there. So go and have a look at my Etsy store. Now, again, I did Canva. And we've already discussed Canva because we, we use Canva for making my horror videos. And um, it's very, so Canva comes in handy for many, many, many things. Now we started at the Etsy shop and everybody said start an Etsy shop because an Etsy shop will make a lot of money selling products on, online with Etsy. So I didn't want any physical products where you have to postage and package because I've already discovered posting anything from Thailand is expensive. So I went along the digital market side of it and like digital products. And I bought the, um, the stuff for making Christmas cards, birthday cards, all the other cards like I said. I bought the stamp press, I bought the, the stencil units, I bought the printing stuff to do all of that lot. And then I discovered how expensive it is to post to anywhere outside of Thailand. So again, that just dis destroyed working online with regard to selling the CAD. Good quality products. I bought all the best quality printers and the stencils and stuff like that. Only to find out that postage, is ju that just kills it. Now there are places all around Printify and, and print, print something. They'll print your t-shirts and your mugs and post them. But when you look at what the price is for doing them things, wow, is it so expensive. So out of a 20 pound shirt that I was gonna get printed um, from, you know, retiring and living the dream, a 20 pound t-shirt, I made two pounds out of it. So everybody else gets the money, but two, two pound, is it really worth all the hassle for two pound? I think not. So now I'd, I've done away with that as well. So I don't print anything for the mugs and things like that. I just do the cards. Now the cards, the views to my shop were very, very, very low um, because I'm not publicising. I've only got 30, 36 products, I think it was, on Etsy. So again, it was just a, a trial and a sample and I was getting maybe 30 or 40 views per month. So Etsy sent me a, an email saying, how about using an advertising promotion? One dollar a day. <coughs> so I thought, okay, I'll give it a go. So for two weeks, I had over eight and a half thousand views at my products, eight and a half thousand views for one dollar a day. So it cost me sixteen dollars because I did it for sixteen days, and eight and a half thousand views sold one item. But am I blaming that for it? No, I'm not. I'm I'm actually finding out that it's worth using the Etsy for their advertising campaign at one dollar a day but I've only got 36 items. So the aim is making up to 100 or 200 items for the cards and things like that, because I can make all of them on, on uh, Canva. And once you've made it, it's like an evergreen product. It is there forever. But then you need to market it and, and stuff like that, which, I'll st which I'm still all learning. And I bought the, the video to, um, to be able to help me do the SEO for the marketing and descriptions and things like that. Now again, have a look, have a look at the Etsy shop, see what you think. These are the things that you can do when living abroad and you don't want to live at home. Making money from it is the difficult part from it. And the only people in my mind that make money from this is the people who are selling you the dream. Now I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm trying to tell you that you can make money on this but it's a very, very, very slow and it takes a lot of things to set up. Now, the other thing that goes, that's big on YouTube is the affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing, you can make hundreds of thousands of dollars through affiliate marketing. Now, the trouble with affiliate marketing, you need a big audience in the first place. And if you're just like me, I've got 8,000, well, nearly 9,000 subscribers. So potentially, I've got 9,000 people that I can sell a product to at the end of the day. 
but I don't like affiliate marketing because I think affiliate marketing is all salesmanship and I don't like salesmen in the first place. I don't do email marketing. When I've given some of my e-books away for free, I ask for the email so I can send you the um, e-book for free when I was giving them away for free. But I never ever sold your emails on to anybody else because I hate, absolutely hate with a passion, getting spammed with all of these, buy this, buy that, buy the, and anything that I've actually subscribed to, I've got hundreds and hundreds of emails and I still click on un unsubscribe, but every now and then I get emails from all over the place. So I hate being spammed by emails. So I would never do that to anybody anyway. And somebody said to me years and years, Les, you'll never make a businessman because you're too honest. And I am. <coughs> I hate being spammed. I hate giving false, false advice about things. Anything that I advise on here is what I personally bought myself. And uh, so affiliate marketing, you need a big audience to be able to sell anything anyway. So you will never make a lot, a lot of money through affiliate marketing unless you've got a big audience in the first place. So... Um, so that's my two biggest things with regard to making money online is my Etsy store. Have a look. And again, this is the, the link to the Etsy store and also my faceless YouTube channel, which is this link here. Go and have a look. Have a look at all the videos. There's only 20, 21 videos. And I think they range from two and a half minutes up to five minutes long. Scary stories. Now, the idea of this is the niche. The niche of it is millions of people actually look at these and hundreds of thousands of people look at these. Now I think my biggest videos that I've had is about 86, 87,000 views and maybe I've had another couple with 40 or 50,000. Now they're very exceptional and very, very few but far between. I get maybe between one, between 1,000 and 8,000 views per video depending on what the content is. But if you have a look at the scary niche or the scary stories, horror stories niche, and if you have a look at any, any of the horror stories, it's hundreds of thousands, you know, hundreds to two hundreds to, to millions of people actually look into this. So if you're going to do a YouTube channel, look at the niches, look at the, how many people are looking at these videos. I've got a friend who, who also talks about positive thinking and that, and he just does a video and he talks about positive thinking, being positive and how to change your life and things like that. It's another faceless YouTube channel. And he just puts, the, puts out two or three videos per week. Again, he's just growing his channel. And uh, he's almost, within a month, hit the benchmark of 4,000 watch hours. He's a little bit behind with, with the 1,000 um, subscribers. But he's going to get it easily within two or three months. So, and that's a video, uh, YouTube channel starting up from scratch. So I'm not an expert on this. I'm just telling you what I've done, how I've done it. So... Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Give it a thumbs down if you don't like it. But if you want to work online, it's not easy at all. So from there, it's retired and living the dream. Till the next time, bye for now.